The concept they're using to describe this is the physical graph. So you've heard of the social graph, that's your friend network on Facebook. You've heard of the interest graph, that would be the topics and subjects that you follow, perhaps on Twitter. Uh, The physical graph is going to be a combination of the places you've been, your location, and then the proximal network, all that stuff that you've connected with as you move through town. That's going to tell us a great deal about you and where you've gone. Uh, From the consumer standpoint, it's going to look like a world where every surface is clickable. So you can start to see how these two pieces combined together give us a chance to start to turn the city into a canvas for games. So the next time you walk through a a store, a grocery store, a mall, look around you and think of all the places where you might have some interaction, where you might be able to connect your phone and interact with any of those surfaces around you. Very soon that will happen because this year you're going to start to see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deployments of these beacons from Apple. And they look like this. They're fairly small things. They're funny looking and they're meant to be. You're meant to be able to notice them and see them on the wall. They're not meant to be some hidden, invisible, secret, sneaky technology. They're meant to be something that you can notice. There are already more than a dozen companies working on this, uh, working on, on technologies that would allow retailers to communicate with their, uh, with their shoppers in some targeted way based on where they happen to be in the store. Uh, this is Estimote. I have no connection to this company. I just thought I'd share it. That's one of the companies that's in the process of building out these networks, these uh, iBeacon networks inside of shops. Uh, now, these are some photographs from technology that's been deployed or tested already in retail. What you're looking at here is a surveillance camera inside of a store, and you can see that they've created a kind of a heat trail that shows you where the person has been in the store as they move through Um, Here's another one. This is like a heat map. Uh, What's starting to happen to retail in their efforts to combat the internet and e-commerce, retailers have had to up their data game. They've had to bring um, new technologies to bear. So when today you go to a retail exhibition, it kind of reminds me of Comdex back in the heyday because you've got all these technology companies, IBM, uh, Intel, and so forth. They're all displaying their wares there, and they're all trying to show retailers how they can start to track analytics, data analytics inside of their stores the same way that a web publisher would use data analytics to see which pages were happening. You you can literally generate a heat map of a store. And you can actually A-B test two locations against each other. So you could test out a display in one part of a store in one city, and you could test that same display somewhere else and see which one one performs a little bit better, which which type of display works better. So these analytics are going to really help um, marketers start to understand who moves inside of their shops and what they do. And there's a lot more technology than I can describe that's afoot in the retail environment. This is emotion showing you facial 